Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulam Jane, and I finally got around to updating my studio. In this video, though, we're going to be talking about the energy in the world through the month of September. Now, all of us have gone through what I think is a very tricky August. If you have a look at your own personal life and that of your friends and family around you, there's a lot of people who were rattled energetically by the last four weeks. And in the last video I made on this series, I talked about a difficult August and that period continuing through most of September. Unfortunately, I think the chaos isn't over. We're in for about another three to five more weeks of difficult, strange energy around us. There's just no getting around this. So rather than give you guys like an in-depth analysis of all of this, all I'll say is during the next couple weeks, keep doing your meditation routines, keep exercising, keep spending time with your family and your loved ones. Let's just get through this period because on the other side of September, uh, actually, let, let me rephrase that. On the other side, there's a solar eclipse on the 4th of October. So when I say September's a difficult month, I'm really extending that energetically by a couple days. So on the other side of the 4th of October, the world will be in a good place again, with the exception of the chaos around the US elections. With that exception, the world will be in a good place, and I think it's actually going to continue to be in a good place until around about May of next year. That's the next chaotic period for the world. So we're looking at about six good months. That's going to come on the other side of four or five difficult weeks. Now, having said that, let me get into my predictions for this month. And the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the US elections and give an update prediction on a previous video there. So this is a screenshot of a video that I made about the upcoming U.S. elections. Now, my whole thesis over here is that the energy of the U.S. is going to mirror and copy the energy of Pakistan, China, and Russia. Now, what's happened in Pakistan over the last few weeks is that there's been a lot of terrorist attacks or separatist attacks going on there. Now, because that's happening in Pakistan, I predict that that similar event is going to happen in the U.S., probably in the aftermath of the elections. And so I'm just going to put that prediction out there that there will be a terrorist slash separatist attack in the US. Now, these are the type of predictions that I always hope I'm wrong on. I don't like being right about these negative predictions. Having said that, it seems to be where the energy is taking us. And it actually seems to be a replay of the previous election cycle too. So it's probably not going to surprise anyone that the US is already heading down this path because they were heading down this path about four years ago. In either case, that's one update that I'd like to give. Now, before we get into the September predictions, let's talk about the August predictions and have a look at how they went. And this is a screenshot from last month's video, and it wasn't actually a good one for me. My predictions on the stock market did end up happening. There was a terrible fall in the first week, and then it started rising almost after that. My prediction on the gold price fall didn't end up happening. Similarly, my prediction on the US dollar rise didn't end up happening. If anything, the US dollar just went down a lot this time. And then my prediction on the Bitcoin price rise, that did end up happening, which is really bad performance by my standards. Now, for those of you keeping score, my total predictions are 19 correct out of 28 this year. Now, having said that, let's have a look at the month of September. So my first prediction is that there should be a stock market fall throughout most of this month. I am predicting a volatile September overall, energetically, but also for the stock market. So it's not going to go down in a straight line. It could well go up for the next week or two and then dump really hard or vice versa. But in either case, despite the peaks and troughs, I'm generally expecting a fall to take place. I'm also predicting gold to be going up generally throughout the month. And I'm predicting Bitcoin to be going down over this period. Now, having said that, I do think Bitcoin's looking exceptionally good from the middle of October onwards. And then we're going to enter into like a four or five month period where it just keeps breaking higher and higher. 
So although I'm short term bearish on Bitcoin, I still think its best months are ahead of us. And after that, I'm also predicting an oil price drop, although that should be starting in the second week of September. You know, if I could pick a specific date, I want to say about the 6th to the 8th of September especially. Alright guys, that's where I'm going to end this video. Remember, take some time to take care of yourself over the next couple of weeks. You're going to need it because on the other side of September and October, the world's going to be in a good place. Thank you very much.